many patients with Marfan syndrome go into the general world where they have a sense of being different and having a sense that the differences are very noticeable. And what I love about kind of a yoga or yoga type environment is that it's not judgmental. And I think that that actually allows kind of a, a therapeutic encounter that might not happen in almost any other kind of body work type environment. And what I would love for our community is to try to look into some of what's called these alternative kind of um, um, strategies to see if they might in fact have therapeutic benefits for Marfan patients. This issue of shortness of breath is an incredibly important issue for Marfan patients because they confront a medical system that typically is not very sophisticated in understanding their disease. And they also confront a medical system that has the presumption that they will have a certain level of disability. And so when they actually admit to a symptom as kind of nebulous as shortness of breath, there are many physicians who will respond, well, of course you're short of breath, you have Marfan syndrome. And what I like to do is to tell patients that they don't have to be short of breath. And we actually can find an answer as to why they're short of breath. And there's nothing that says that having Marfan syndrome can't make you kind of much more able to kind of understand your disease and to get yourself functioning at the best possible level that you can. And unfortunately, in order to do that, you have to have physicians that are really strong, almost evangelical advocates of that. And what I hope to do is under the umbrella of lung disease, under the umbrella of shortness of breath and dyspnea, to be that kind of an advocate, to tell patients that, you know, you don't have to have these limitations. Let's see what we can do about these. And there's so many options available for patients who have lung disease, and we can use some of these in order to make you feel better.